components that we have in this new version, the 2.4. So we have three new components, the chain FK spline, the light uh, um, FK, and the spine S shape. Okay, let's do this in one single video, so it's gonna be easier, I think. So let's say goodbye to Orfella, and let's open here the UI. So first one, it's the chain FK spline. So if you remember, I did some time ago a little video on uh, a little tutorial on YouTube that I was talking how to make tails. Uh, I was using the uh, FK, uh, sorry, the ch chain spring thing. Uh, this one, it's going to be like the same kind of rig, but in one single um, component. And we don't have the automatic of the spring, so it's going to be a little lighter than before so um, we have this thing here I'm just gonna place it over there I'm just gonna create this as a left side and uh, for the moment I'm just gonna build so we see what we get just building boom so we have there so we have three uh, the same joints with the same elements, so this is gonna be the I case stuff, and this is gonna be the F case stuff. So some things that I want to point here. The first one is that you can scale this thing. The second one is that when I build it, this is matching with the actual connections, but indeed it can be not matching, and I show you quickly w why. Because this is using a plane, so if we have different sizes like this shorter this longer and this <laughs> sorry longer again uh when i build this thing now you can see it doesn't match the controls go in in one direction or in one position and the joints are like evenly distributed so this is how it works uh by default it's taking the number of um like sections that you have and it's using it as the number of joints that you want but doesn't mean that it's gonna match one to one and uh, in some situations it's good enough in some situations it's not good enough so we have this override join number so we can put like 10 here and you will see now that uh it was just the way that we configure so we have 10 now and this make much more sense because this is in spline and maybe you want to use much more controls that I mean, much more joints and control, so that's that's the reason. Okay, so now it's looking looking better. That's cool. Okay, so let's uh, delete this again. And if I keep it everything in a straight line, but if you check when I start to offsetting the two, um, uh, I mean the, the locators, we can see that there is two lines or two reference lines. The one that connects the locators that it's for visual. Uh, relation between which one is the child of which one so we don't do like mistakes like crossing like this and we don't see it and the second one tries to uh, give you an approximation or where is going to be placed your joints when you build it's not like 100 percent but it's good enough to to give you like the placement before you build okay so next thing i want to talk here it's the um the other option so we have the neutral post this is not new so if i don't check it is neutral will be always a straight line if i check it neutral will be the current position when we build the other two options it's the keep length keep length is going to add an extra locator around here that is taken from the same distance between the late latest um uh, section and this is going to be a uh, kind of a buffer to avoid that the the length stretch or shrinks obviously the uh, up to the limit of the uh the distance that we said okay so to do that i'm just gonna delete again just gonna build and now we have this extra control here we have a line here this line is not from the guide it's from the control itself and it's to help you to to visualize what is going on so now when when i rotate or something you can see it's sliding over there so it keeps try to keep the uh the length of the curve and this is very useful for instance if we are rigging cloth or 
or well almost anything normally you don't want to like tails or something you don't want to, to stretch and, and and shrink if you you um um you animate that so you have a buffer there obviously as i told you it's the buffer is um is the limit so if we put this too close so by any reason it's gonna squash the thing but we can just make it longer and obviously the buffer control is there to help you control when it's offset in there so you have an extra help there um this can be only uh, uh rotate in one axis and because it's using a system of rail that means uh rails uh i'm not using uh follicles i'm using um like two curves and they join some a vector in to the other one so you have some limitation on the rolling i mean if you roll too much you're gonna get like a candy wrap but uh it's good enough for the uh, majority of the situations and yeah should not be an issue using it okay and the latest one is the negate axis direction on or for right side this is uh, not very self-explanatory but you will see clearly now in when, when with an example what it's doing and to do that I'm just gonna use this thing like this so okay I'm just gonna straight out this so it's a straight and check it out where is my uh, blade it's there I'm just gonna create the symmetrical one okay just let me place this closer so we see it close one to another and I'm just gonna build both of them so we have left left and right and yeah that's cool it's there it's uh, but when we rotate this is like same direction and this is in opposite directions sometimes we want this sometimes we don't want it so if I change on my um, on my right side this indeed in the left side it doesn't make any anything but just to keep everything clean and when you symmetrize and delete and symmetrize i'm gonna create it also in the right side okay oh uh, sorry in the left side okay just build it there so it looks the same feels the same but the axes are not the same so this is gonna be the same and remember where i put my blade it was like planar to this to this axis but the other two are in the same orientation so why i want this okay sometimes we want to have this uh for instance we rig skirt and when we uh, make the the character spin we want to have the same direction for the for all the uh, skirt at the same time so it rolls by itself and you don't want the, the skirt like gets open and closed when you do that it's uh very difficult to, to limit so that's that's the main reason so it, need to choose which one you prefer but i think it's uh it's gonna be very easy to um to understand once you you manipulate a little bit okay let's move to the next um component <coughs> sorry the next component it's called light chain and you can guess uh, it has the same uh, right side thing and um it's light because it's much simpler and the default chain the the, the simple one we had uh like uh, i'm just gonna hide this uh we have um like I, I kfk and it's like a little okay i'm just gonna show you so it's it's gonna be easier so we have two chains here we're gonna build so by default when you use the chain with the default parameters and this one it looks the same it feels the same it works exactly the same but because this one has much more options if we check the construction the internal construction uh we have the chain basic one it's this one it's very straightforward with connected with the joints and the other one you have all these things going on under the hood so we have some constraints some offsets there and there it has some good stuff for instance if uh, i scale this it's independent from the uh the other one the, the child so it's it's nice sometimes for fingers and stuff but this one it's it's inherit the uh, this the scaling and so on so oh, you need to choose 
which one is better for your situation uh, but uh, this is going to be lighter and faster to play back this is going to have more options and it's going to be a little slower just you need to choose and yeah and make your own decisions so that's for this one and the latest one i'm just going to check it oh yeah the spine s shape thing okay let's talk about the spine is shape so this component is based on the spine ik2 that have some extra controls on the final rig and i have to give the credit to my colleague odasan he is the one who did it he took this and upgraded to this new fun functionality so thank you so much for this and i think many people is going to be happy with this one because it's uh it's one component that i've been request quite a few times and finally we have it here so for the options are exactly the same uh, for the previous spine and the only difference is that we have these two extra locators that it's going to help us to place our spine inside the, the body of uh, our character when the body has more curvy position. So, okay, so let's see, like this. And then I'm just going to build. So nothing fancy there. So now our, um, we see our spine has this curvature or uh, FK controls have also the curvature to follow the spine and the IK are exactly the same, they are flat and they they behave in the same way so that's that's all for this component I, I hope you like it and see you in the next video, bye bye